Hey, it's The Real Duds Fred, and uh, here's another video on PF4 Deathmatch. Now, this one's about 20-some minutes long, so this is one of them videos you can sit there and uh, watch for a while or just kind of leave in the background. Um, there's some good parts in it. There's lots of run around. There's some parts I sped up because it just was kind of boring. Um, but anyway, what we're going to do here is we're going to Goldman Railway, and here I am with my buddies. Now, this map, uh, well, this map reminds me a lot of... Uh, BF3's uh, Karkin map. You know, there's a kind of a semi-urban thing and rooftops to go on, stuff like that. Also, this server I'm on, it's got a rule, it's pistols and knives only, so you're not going to see any assault weapons in use. If you happen to use one on a server, you'll get banned. Um, which, you know, the first time I ever saw that, it kind of ticked me off, but, well, I kind of get it now. It's, it's especially for Deathmatch and BF4. Unlike BF3, BF4's Deathmatch kind of suffers from the map design, actually, among, like a lot of the other things in Battlefield 4, but, um, you know, just kind of restricting yourself to knives and, and guns and pistols only is, is, kind of makes it a little more fun, a little more, a little more balanced, I'd say, but, that said, I was kind of surprised at the outset, because I thought, you know, if you're going to enforce a rule like that on a server, then uh, how come I can still pull out my assault rifle or something like that. Oh, oh, see, this is going to go badly for me. What an ugly face. Um, anyway, I don't know. I've just been, I was just thinking, you know, I've been on servers where I know darn well I was outfitted with, say, like a SRAW, and I go pull out, go to pull out that kind of weapon, and I end up with an RPG. So I know there's server rules that can be put in place, so it's like, you know, guys, I mean, you're admins, I, I don't know. I don't run a server, but I gotta think if there's a way. I, that was kind of a good kill. I like the fact that he got the guy who got me got knifed by my buddy. Ah, I'm revived. Yay. Anyway, I think it just kind of stinks that you know if you're gonna if you're gonna enforce a rule like only certain equipment, then enforce the rule. Don't rely on people to have to do it because a lot of us play on a dozen different maps, and not all of them have you know pistols only. Um, it's fine to specialize, but the game's a lot more fun if you mix it up, so... Which means that every time I die and respawn, I have to basically go and... Uh, so see, like, right there. I had to switch my weapon from an assault rifle to a gun, or I'll, you know, get kicked. So, you know, I mean, that's kind of a pain, but once you get past that, it is a lot more fun, and, you know, I still think BF3's deathmatch is more fun, but this is all right. The other thing I'm suffering from is that the rig I'm running this on is a Core i7-860 and it's a GTX 260-216. Basically my hardware is about five years old, so which, you know, has a little issue with BF4, but at least I proved definitively that BF4 runs on DX10 hardware, right? Anyway, I'm doing a lot of general talk. I'm going to talk about all these awesome kills that are happening here. Um, especially the ones that happened to me. I'm gonna get revived. I think you get revived like four or five times in this particular match. But yeah, there's like I said, I'm gonna try to get him. And someone else got him before me. You know, I am having issues here. I was recording this in Fraps. That's another problem I have. Fraps in Battlefield 4. I will literally and you you might actually see this a couple of times. Actually I think you just saw it right there. Um Fraps will literally, I don't even have to be recording, it'll do it. It'll literally stop the game dead for me. And all of a sudden, for that split second, I, I'm, it starts again and I'm looking at something different. Or I'm dead, or whatever. So it's a real disadvantage. So not only do I have the handicap of old hardware, but when I'm trying to record these videos and be a fortress, it doesn't do well. But I'm determined. You know, that's going to happen to me a lot. You're going to see a lot of people running away who killed me. Who've got 48 health? Because I love my 44 Magnum, it just doesn't shoot fast enough. That, and I think it's hilarious that it's got a 3x scope on it. I've never thought of a Magnum as a kind of gun that has a scope. I mean, could you imagine Clint Eastwood, you know, standing in the middle of some street, some gunfight, you know, some spaghetti western with a scope on his Colt 45? I mean, that'd be just funny. But okay, just don't think of that kind of weapon as something that has a scope on it, but. Oh, anyway, I'm running around here doing this thing. There we go. Yeah, I've done some edits. This is the ACL. I'm going to run him here because I'm. This is a boring part. I'm going to get him. No, he's going to get me. Oh, fooey. 
Yeah, you see there's some cuts there because, you know, you really don't want to see the little map and the spawn map. That's boring, right? I mean, it's bad enough this video is 24 minutes long. So. All right. Got a kill assist too. I love that. I'll get a lot of kill assists, but not many kills. In fact, I'm usually amazed when I get a kill with this gun because with all the lag issues I have and the frame rate and all that stuff. good kill. That was not a good kill. Oh well. To me, I'm really at a disadvantage here. A lot of it has to do with my hardware. That's the other thing that I hate about Battlefield 4 is it's very sensitive to high pings. More, worse than Battlefield 3. Uh, I've seen this game drain to a cult with just a couple of people with 300 ping on a server. Uh, and it's not just me, because then the chat window just explodes. Huh? Come on! Arr! See, there's another 48 health. Aha! And there's a kill assist. Somebody's following... I think I got a buddy following me around or something. Just waiting for me to take a chunk out of somebody. I don't know. I'm walking around this building and I'm noticing that, the, you know, I complained about this a long time ago on Battlefield 3. Yeah, see, that was, let's see if he dies. Nope, but I don't have a buddy around. Um, you run through a building and there's no furniture. It's like, we've got storage containers, we've got bushes planted, we've got cars parked. Where's the furniture? Like, everybody just kind of moved out? What is this, like the end of the month? Did all the moving trucks already leave? I mean, really? I, okay, whatever. I just noticed that. I mean, if you're going to go in a building, there should be furniture. I mean, I want to, like, have to jump over a couch or something. But, ah. Yeah, get ah. That's the one thing I hate. You never get to see the guy you're shooting at if somebody else shoots you. It's just, oh well. Yeah, I'm kind of following the same path here. This isn't, uh, the video isn't looping. It's just, I guess I just really like this path. I enjoy this box and these weeds. It's very attractive weeds. These are the most finely rendered weeds I've ever seen. Too bad there's no furniture in the buildings. But, uh, you know, these flashbangs. I thought this server took a lot of flashbangs. Oh, well. I guess I was going to try to kill that rock that property. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, you know, not only do you need some home improvement around here, I think you, uh, you could probably do with a little gardening. It's, uh, I think the weeds are a little overgrown around here. Now, now look at that. When have you ever seen a staircase to a roof without a door? Like that would ever happen. We have a door outside here, a door to this, but you run up the stairs and nothing. It's just open. I mean, who does that? Really? I have never seen a building. Oh, oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. Maybe I can get him. Maybe I can get him. I'm following. I'm following. I'm following. Sneaky, sneaky. Pow! Ha! Yay! That's one of my favorite kills. Okay. So about, uh, oh, look, a one stick of furniture. Yeah, I guess everybody just left. They saw the war coming and ran away quickly. Oh, yeah. oh thanks for letting me know, guys. 
Three people running downstairs, one guy on the roof, and nobody shot him. That's wonderful. Ah, see the scope. That's that 3x scope. I love that scope on that gun. I thought it would be a totally useless item until I realized just what kind of range a 44 has. I have taken people out at long freaking ranges with this gun. In fact, I think I've taken somebody out at a longer range with this gun than I have with my sniper rifle. Of course, I suck as a sniper, so... See, this rock will protect me. See, there's that jump right there. That's what happened. That's the Fraps thing. Let's see if I can get him. Oh! Oh! Yo! Well, I got an assist out of it. That's good. See, that was pretty good distance there. You don't expect that from a pistol. Get the oh. hell back here, soldier. We need you. Ah, oh, let's see if we can get him. Run, run, run. They're running too fast. Got one hit. Oh. That's the one problem with the pistol, though. They're not good for hip fire. Really screws the accuracy up. Yeah, you're proud of yourself, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Sitting there reloading, hiding behind that wall. Yeah, you think you're all hot. Yeah. They're going to revive me and shoot me again. Why did you revive me when I'm getting shot at? What possible sense does that make? What the hell was that? Wait a minute, the whole back of the building's open? It's designed that way? No doors? What kind of people live in this village? They don't have doors on their... They don't have walls in the backs of their houses, and they don't have doors to their roof hatch. They're... What? Well, whatever. Oh, oh! He, mm. Well, at least I took a little chunk out of him. I don't know, though. Deathmatch in this game, man. You just kind of run around and do your thing. You grow a thick skin. Like I said in the last video, that Deathmatch, you just, you know, expect to die. You're going to die a lot, but it's fun, and I've actually gotten more points. Roofs are good. In, if you can stay alive, rooftops are really good in this game. Actually, because you got a chance, if nobody's shooting at you, you got a chance to zero people in. Say this hip fire thing. That's not a good thing to do. Alright, so yeah, I turned around because I've had people follow me before. Up, oh, up, oh, hey! Oh, that tactic worked well. Yeah. That's the lag issue there. Oh. Sure is a pretty gun, even on my crappy video card. Sure is pretty. Oh, I took a chunk out of him. That's what I mean by the roof, though, if they see you. And I'll go after people on roofs, too, because they are an easy target, because they're usually trying to do just what I'm doing. I'm just trying to line them up. Oh, yeah. All right, so I die a lot. Who cares? You play Deathmatch, you'll die, too, unless you're doing a hack or an aimbot. So, I don't want to hear it. Oh, okay, there's a door. It's a porch. I get it. Okay, that makes sense. Well, this, of course, this is the same building that has the stairway to the open roof. Because, of course, nobody would ever think of putting a door on the roof. That does sound kind of stupid, doesn't it? A door on the roof. And, I don't know. Looking for the... Oh! No. Mm. See, I hate those kills. I hate kills I don't know where they're coming from. Yeah, see how it jumps like that? There's a lot to do with my video card. And yeah, this is these settings are ramped down. Um, in BF4, I literally have to play it in uh, 720p. I don't understand how two shots from a Magnum on a person, and he's still alive. That doesn't make sense. Most people I shoot twice, they're dead with that gun. Oh, I got a assist counts kill, yeah. So I got some hits on him. Little lens flare going on, a little JJ Abrams going on here. Oops, sorry buddy. Didn't mean to shoot you in the ass. Uh 
Go find the bad guys. Run, run, run. Oh. Yeah, this is Golmud Railway. This is basically, um, if you're playing the Conquest mode, this would pretty much be the village at point either A or A and B. Points A and B, that's the little village where you are in this. So it's pretty much on the north side of the map. Ah, see? I was going to try to lie in wait for him, but he was too quick on the draw for me. Oh, look at all the Oh, got a kill assist, though. Ha ha. Of course, they couldn't save me. That's the other thing. Sometimes you don't know friend to foe. I've literally seen people chasing or walk, go past each right by each other and not even know they're enemies. Because you just, you can't tell when you're running around. It's not a big enough thing hanging over your head. It's kind of like a kind of like Warface, where you you, you know the enemy because they have this little red outline. I mean, you know, so screwed up too bad. Oh, this has got the green. I don't know the green arrow over there. I've never seen a green laser on a gun though. Must be some. That's the other thing with these though. With these, there's uh, some guys running around here with. You'll see me get killed by a, a, a deagle or a double eagle, or and you'll see me get killed by guys with unicas. I, I, at least I know for the double eagle, you can only get that with DLC, which kind of unbalances the game. Because it's like, you know, it's fine for DLC to have stuff that's special, but you shouldn't have something that's so special that it, you know, gives an unfair advantage. That's wrong. You know, DLC is supposed to enhance the game, not change the entire mechanics of it. You know, that's just, that's not right. Because that becomes pay to play, and let's face it, we all paid a pretty penny for this game, no matter what flavor we got. And to have, to be disadvantaged because you didn't pay more than you sh than, you know, EA wanted you to. That's just wrong, completely wrong. You know? I mean, you know, I mean, you can do like Call of Duty kind of does. Where ooh, let's see, yeah, ah, oh, love it, love it, love it. It's a headshot from the roof. That was one of my better ones. Anyway. You know, you shouldn't be uh you shouldn't be able to pay to win. Especially in a in a triple A title. That's just wrong. I could see it in freemium, they do that all the time. You know, freemium games, and then let's face it, all you're out is time if you get if they do that to you, you just stop playing. You know, but um, to do it in a game that's a, a regular retail product is just wrong. You get this game. You see that? He, one of my guys is behind him. So he looked like one of my guys, but I wasn't sure. But at least got a kill assist. So, But no, I, I'm, I'm totally against the whole... I mean, I'm not against DLC and extra content. What I am against is it giving an advantage to people who have the money to pay for it. You know, And there's been times, I'm not saying I didn't have the money to pay for it or everything or premium or whatever. I'm saying I shouldn't have to just to be able to play a game. Especially when I paid full price to start with. I think that's just wrong. You know, and I think it's something we need to be moving away from here. I might also have a lot to do. I think people are getting a little fatigued with this whole uh, uh, DLC disease that all these publishers have. You know, that, uh, hey, you buy the first game, you buy the original game, and we've got a hundred bucks worth of DLC you need to buy to be able to continue playing it. That's just BS. You shouldn't need, you shouldn't have to do that. And, uh... You know, I mean, when Battlefield 4 was released and uh, Call of Duty Blackout was it Bla no, it was Ghost came out about the same time. Um, you know, they didn't have the sales numbers they were looking for, and I think part of it is people are sick of it. You know, I mean, if you want to DLC is fine, but you shouldn't be forced to buy it if you want to play the game. Or you go on a server. I mean, you've, I'm sure you guys have been on servers that don't have premium, where you see you get kicked off server because one map in the rotation has DLC that you don't know. You know, and it's like, or they've got standard maps and they're a so-called premium server and it's not an official DICE server or anything like that. And you get kicked off of there, too. It's like, come on, guys. You know, that's just, that's wrong. That's just wrong. I mean, how hard is it? If a guy can kick me for shooting with the wrong weapon, if an admin come on and say, 
you've got the wrong weapon, you shot with it, you're kicked off the server, then, I mean, there has to be the functionality there. Bang. Yeah, okay. I know I hit him. Why is he still 100? Oh, well. But anyway, you know, if you've, if you've got that functionality to be able to kick it, then why can't you just say, all right, people can play who've got the map, and if they don't have the map, they just get kicked off the server when that map comes in rotation. Why do you have to ban them from the whole damn thing? That's not, this is wrong. Yeah. Gaming injustice, I guess. I know there's more important things in the world to worry about, but I think it's more a, I think it's a symptom of, in other words, it's not, it's not something, I think it's an isolation. I think everybody's just out there trying to get theirs. But they're trying to do it at everybody else's expense, and that's, Oh, well. Ah, yeah. This is part of my favorite. I spent a lot of time up here on the roof. This is where I think I did my best work. Got to use my scope. Got to spot people. This was a lot of fun. And nobody saw where I was for a while. Yeah, I still can't get over that stairway to nowhere. It's just... Okay. But this is pretty good. I'll get some pretty. I get some some pseudo echo mo echo epic moments here. Oh, yeah. See, ooh, that was good. That was a long distance kill. I enjoyed the heck out of that. Let's see if I can find somebody else. At least spot them. There's a guy. Nah, he's out of range. Something blew up though. At least I could spot. I took a chunk out of the building with that shot at least. Ah, I got a kill assist. Apparently I did hit him. See, the part of what's screwing me is the little bit of the frame drop here. It makes it hard to zero in on somebody. I swear, if I had if I had a newer rig and I had a, a better internet connection, I think. Although I usually get about fifty to sixty millisecond pings to servers, but I think I'd do a lot better if I had a little better hardware. I think that's the. Yeah, this is where I make my mistake. I should have stayed on the roof. Yeah, this this was not a good decision. Yeah, I figured I'm gonna go. I got restless, wanted to go down there and mix it up, and it's gonna get mixed up, all right. Ah, hey, get look, get look, hey, come back, yeah, go! I didn't get reloaded in time. It was a reload battle. It's all right. This game's almost over. We got two kills left. Four hundred ticket map. By the way, guys, when you're doing deathmatch server admins. Please don't do 1,200 ticket death matches. I mean, not only are you killing my keyboard and my mouse, you're killing me. I mean, that's just freaking... That's insane. Especially in BF4. BF3, yeah, because it actually moves a little faster. Because the maps are better designed for it. But BF4, my god. 1,200 tickets on a death match? Yeah, it's, who's going to finish that? You're going to take about nine Red Bulls before you start that one. Anyway, this has been Real Dead's Fried and uh, showing you a little death match here. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great one. We'll be talking to you.